Gruesome Herzog Podcast. So this is the conspiracy. Isolate and desensitize us from life and death. So that when death comes knocking on our doors, we're stunned stupid to the point where death is a game. What are we going to defend ourselves with, huh? Sticks and stones? Not to be recognized when it's staring us in the face. You show yourself. We are so comfortable. So helpless. So lost. Lost in our conveniences. Knowledge is dead. And survival. How does it look now? A distant memory. Looks clear. Not to get all sentimental and shit, but I feel like I found my purpose. My real purpose. Being a model citizen with a swell job and a white picket fence doesn't do a damn bit of good when civilization has turned into a bunch of flesh eating monsters. I've read the books, I've played the games. I've prepared without conscious knowledge of my fate. This is it. I've had wet dreams about this day. I'm a hunter. And I'll be damned if I'm ever going to be the hunted. Throw it now! I guess it does kind of represent a form of personal vindication for me. (laughs) Humans vs. Zombies, 2011. Here's the storyline. A dark comedy and horror unite in this sadistical thriller based on a live-action role-playing game of the same name. Directed by Brian T. James, written by Brian T. James and Devin Saglani. Tagline, The Infection Has Begun. Here's the cast. Dora Madsen Burge as Tommy. Melissa Carnell as Amanda. Frederick Doss as Frank. Chip Joslin as Brad. Jonah Pryor as Danny. Jesse Ferraro as James, Reagan Wallace as Cindy, and Christine Quinn as Megan. Now, as everyone knows, I'm a big zombie fan. And what I like about zombie films is the special effects of the infected, the kills, the bites, etc. Now, this movie is missing a lot of the special effects. That's one thing that I noticed that I did not like. You know, when they go to attack somebody, they pull the camera away. They don't show everything. And that's one sign of not enough money to make it the way it should be. Now, that's not a slam, mind you. The acting was great. Uh, Frederick Doss had a great role in here. You know, the cast was cool. But all in all, it's an alright film. It's about an, uh, a zombie outbreak at a school overrun by zombies or crazies. I really can't tell if it's actually zombies or it's just somebody that's infected that acts like a crazy person. Like the uh, Crazies movie. But other than that, again, it's an average zombie film for me. It's missing the special effects. It's missing something and I'm no expert, but I'm an expert on zombie films. So, this is not as it's not as good as I thought it would be. When I say that, I mean the special effects part of it. I just wish there was more. When you see the kills, you'll see it completely, not the camera pulls away. You know, it just reminds me of a movie that's made for TV. That's what it boils down to. This movie could be a hell of a lot better if it had more special effects and I think more money to go with it. That's just the way it is. Enough said. This is Gruesome Herzog's Horror Movie Review. I give this film a 5 out of 10. You know, it's average. Good storyline. Good idea. Good camera work. Some good acting. But it's missing the special effects. It's missing the actual kills. Not pull away and go to the next scene. It bugged me. All in all, it's an average film for me. This is Gruesome Herzog's 
Harmy Review, and I'm out of here.